of oxygen during the induction time. So induction will be done by using an intravenous anesthetic agent. Uh, it's called propofol. Um, before that, we're going to give him some uh, fentanyl, that is a pain medication. And, uh, what is that for? Uh, this is for pain. Yeah, why? Uh, we uh, do this uh, so that uh, this is a balanced anesthesia. We give uh, several different medications to make the um, surgical um, surgeon, um, uh, the surgery is more uh, like um, ideal condition, muscle relaxation, pain control, and um, unconsciousness. All these combinations they do using different kind of medications. So that's what it is. So this is called propofol intravenous anesthetic agent. This is the Michael Jackson medication, right? Uh, I don't say that, but uh, if you want, you can. But <laughs> yeah. See, within a few seconds, he's going to go to sleep. Are you asleep yet? Can we start? <laughs> no, can't start the surgery yet? <laughs> Are you asleep? Armando, hello. See, he's asleep now. That's real quick. So, we're also going to give uh, some muscle relaxant uh, for this patient. Uh, uh, and also for this specific case, we need a relaxation for the surgery. For the hernia so that repair. That is, the hernia repair, it will be easy for the surgeon to uh, go through the tissue and uh, do the repair. And what are you doing? What are you doing uh, also, here? I'm giving, uh, I'm since we gave a muscle relaxant, he cannot breathe now, so we're going to uh, breathe for him. So you're giving him oxygen? Uh, oxygen, nit and also we have, uh, we're going to maintain the anesthesia using uh, Oxygen, nitrous oxide, and CO fluorine. CO fluorine is an inhalation anesthetic agent. We continuously give this, uh, these uh, inhalation agents during the procedure. And as soon as the procedure is over, we stop everything and patients wake up. We don't reverse the anesthesia. Once we stop the anesthetic agents, patient will wake up in a few minutes after the surgery. What are you going to insert um, into his airway? We're going to insert a, a laryngeal mask airway to give the anesthesia agents. Okay. It's called laryngeal mask airway. It goes and sits in front of the larynx, and we can uh, give the anesthetic agents by it's connecting. Less, less irritating than the, in the tracheal tube. That's right. One of the great invention by one of the anesthesiologists from England. And how do you check that it's in the right spot? So we're going to check, uh, make sure when we start the, when he's connected to the anesthesia machine and the ventilator, there's a respirating, um, automatic respirating machine that's called ventilator, and we check. movement of the chest and also make sure you have the breath zones on both sides. With LMA you don't have to check the breath zones yeah. on both no, sides because uh, yeah. it's there uh, at the entrance of the larynx.